Hello, and I guess for some of you, you may be able to tell that I am a little into this game. I decided not to start from the beginning section because I figured almost everywhere or in every video is going to start from the very beginning. So I wanted to do something. Oh wow, is this? So I'm u also using the Pokeball, po eh, Pokeball controller, which is a little weird. Because it only has, it has a center stick, which is also a button when you click it in, and a little button at the top. So it is not very intuitive, and I'm already at Mount Moon. I've been playing for roughly an hour, sort of just breezing through. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time sitting anywhere, but, or just really grinding out an area and catching everything. And... You also get bonuses for doing, like, streaks of catching Pokemon, of catching the same one over and over again. And I think that also involves new Pokemon showing up, potentially. Or, like, a more rare Pokemon appearing. Oh, wow. This is... Ooh. Oh, yeah. I got this game on an account of... I kind of just had to know. And you can also hear the little Pokeball going off. And the sound of the Pokemon, so I'm hoping that catches up fairly well. Well, because I think it sounds really neat. Um, and this actually makes, I think, the game even more fun to play, because I don't think it would be as fun with the Joy-Con. But I got the game on a count of, I kind of just wanted to know what the experience was. Because it was, the game itself, originally on the announcement, got a lot of just people not caring for it too much. Because majority of people, including myself, was looking for the next gen, not so much new gimmicky kind of thing so this understandably got some slack and is still getting some slack from not being the new gen so and i can understand that to some degree ah oh, goddamn battle <laughs> i was hoping to avoid it so i could just get to the next view dude because that's kind of a streak I have going. And which is helpful because they're all gathered together. Or but. Oh, Sandro! That's so cute. Yeah, and I changed my Eevee out of my first lineup. Oh crap, you have like nothing. Oh wow, it comes on through on there too. For battle sound. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, at least everything is mostly super effective and everything, <laughs> all the damage is right away healed. Okay, so just absorb again. You just don't have a lot of absorb PP. And I have to say, part of me was also wondering, okay, is it worth it? I wasn't planning on getting it near release, but I wanted to wait and hear reviews. And then I started seeing some people talking about it, or at least people I trusted talking about it. And it's just, it was leaning towards positive, but still kind of mixed of it may not be for everyone, which is understandable because I don't think every game is for everyone. So, but I was still super curious. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's why. Thing kind of spun in my hand. It was tilted. Because it needs to be red. Oh, sorry that I know. Very least. So. I'm not doing great. Or. Excellent, even. Oh my god. Do you do just get in the ball and stay in the ball? Maybe I should throw a berry at him. 
they were too late. Okay, there. Okay. But yeah. So it was a case of really wanted to know, really wanted to try it out, and just see the experience. And I also had the realization prior to even getting this is I actually never played through any of the first generation games. I grew up on the anime, but I never had the chance to actually play any of the games because I never had a Game Boy originally. And I know they were released a few times, but I just never had the chance to play them. So it's sort of an odd experience now to actually be playing it in this type of capacity for the first time. Also, now that we're on Mount Moon, Team Rocket is floating around, which is Jesse and James. So, it's... Okay, fourth Geodude. So, I'm... It's definitely an interesting experience for me to play it in this capacity. Oh man, I'm trying to move around the microphone right now. <laughs> okay. But I sort of really wanted to know, and wanted to make just a short little one-shot video on it. I don't think I'm going to do more than this. But so far, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. More than I even potentially expected to. And it's sort of just... It's very just relaxing kind of Pokemon game. Because in the normal gen, while they're still sort of baby hand-holding, there isn't a lot of a challenge there. It still has some level of micromanaging. Hey, I need to get to these levels and do all this training and grinding. And it's a little bit not as... It lacks a challenge in some ways, but at the same time, there's enough of a challenge to make it a chore a bit. Where if you're really competitive and really just training and being very technical about it, I imagine there's a lot of a challenge and a lot of work that goes into it. And you can get fun out of that from making the game more of a challenge for yourself. And that's why people do Nuzlocks. And I personally think Nuzlocks are been a great thing that the Pokemon community has created and rolled with just because, hey, this is more of a challenge. This makes you limit yourself and makes the game more of a challenge and more interesting in some ways. So I definitely think that that's needed for those style of games, but I think this is also going in a different direction of just making a relaxing kind of Pokemon game where you don't have to think about leveling as much. Ooh, Clefairy just showed up. Is maybe that's the special? If you grind out so much. I'm also going to give her a berry. And I have Great Balls. I'm just not using them. <laughs> that sort of thing of if you don't need it, why bother? So... But I, I think this has the other capacity of it, of making a easier, relaxing type of Pokemon game where you can kind of turn your brain off. You don't need to think as much. You don't need to think about every Pokemon battle or my Pokemon's out of health and I have to get to the next town. And I don't have enough potions or whatever. So, this is just throwing Pokeballs. And if you don't have enough Pokeballs, run. Oh, come on. Let's... Um, uh, Baramish is like... Give me... Berry that makes you slightly more likely to get an item when it's given to a Pokemon. I don't want an item. 
Cons while Pokemon you're trying to catch trying to catch slightly when you give it to them. So Oh crap. Maybe I need to use a great ball on this one. Come on, Clefairy! Okay. No! That's the first time that's happened to me. Where it ran away. Also, this cave is not realistic. All the Pokemon should just be Zubats. Cause that's what you see in every game. And it's also kind of nice that you can actually avoid the Pokemon. And you also have yet to buy any new balls. You get some from Trainer Battles. And I've been given some by other characters for just completing stuff. Like blue, after you get your first gym badge, goes and gives you your first great balls. That was my first new bet. Uh, caught a Paris already. Oh, this is just Team Rocket is here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is because I haven't gotten into any Team Rocket battles. Is it just me, or does the grunt look kind of like Giovanni? Just from that previous angle. Oh god, drowsies. Psychic. I don't think Absorb is extremely good against Psychic. Yeah. What's his level? Nine? Let me switch in. No, uh, I'm not gonna do. I need my EV Aloy. <laughs> After Horizon Zero Dawn. Which is actually, I think, the first videos I ever did on this channel. Was me throwing up some of Horizon De Zero Dawn streams. Okay. So, fight. Thundershock. Okay, that didn't work any better. So, I may switch for the Aloy, because. Oh, wow, yeah, gay. Big out of this. This is the first challenge, but like I said, this is still majorly. I've just gotten a challenge, and I probably could have been doing better in this realm. Had I spent more time in both more exploring Mount Moon area, exploring more Viridian Forest. So, I could have taken a bit more time with things and not rushed through as much. And gotten way more Pokemon, way more experience, and basically just crushed this out. So... But I still can consider this fun for a different reason. And I do think it would be interesting if they keep making this style with other, um, cause this is Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee going through the first gen. I think it's entirely possible for them to do this with the other generations. And I think it would be even more interesting. Uh, I have nothing for being asleep. So, considering Amy's one of my strongest, I'm gonna hope she wakes up. It's not doing a whole lot of damage to me, so I'm not too concerned. Even if he crits, I can probably... 
some six damage. I'll probably wake up within before it gets close. Or even now, I can probably heal. I have nine potions. I haven't used any of them. <laughs> At least now it won't be a waste either. It's full 20. Okay, Drowly. Eevee. There you go. I think the only thing I find a little odd is because you're catching the same Pokemon over and over again, you have the... It is definitely a Pokemon Go style thing where, hey, send these off to the professor. And you don't get experience so much for your other Pokemon, but you get items like candies. That you can then give. Um, I got some like health candies. I'm gonna. Hmm. Just gonna tail it for this one. I got some. I think health candies for the first one. And that's one I remember the most. This time is kind of fun and interesting and let's see, party since you are poison let's move you and put Eloy back in front so you see how it says Y button there is no Y button on this pokeball so it's list it's missing some functionality. Or I just don't know what combination. Because to open the menu, you have to press the two buttons together. The top button is B. And then when you click the center button, that's usually select. Oh, I'm kind of sad the mail doesn't actually talk. Let me actually throw some Pokeballs and train. But the fact that this is training and not, hey, I need to weaken this Pokemon to try and catch it, is so much easier. <laughs> the Pokemon Go style of, hey, you can just find these things. Which I personally have barely played Pokemon Go recently. It is on my phone. I don't think I've opened it. I opened it, I think the last time I really played it was back when I was visiting my hometown. And that way I could catch Pokemon from my hometown. And that was my main reason for opening it up. Was hey, I can get Pokemon with the location of the area I grew up in. And if I travel, I think it would be fun to play it more when I travel. Well, if I'm just sitting around not doing much, but... This to me is a lot of fun. And I don't think. I think it's good to cater to two sides of it the people who want the relaxing part and the people who would like the challenge. So, which is why I also hope, in contrast to this, the next generation in the mainline Pokemon games actually does have more of a challenge aspect to it. Because if you're going to go on the really light end for these, give more of a challenge for the other half. That way you're catering to two sides of 
generation. Or even just putting in options for the next generation to make it harder. Of, hey, do you want some more limits that we can then take away later? Or just click a button and make it harder for yourself. But have that be a choice. I'm hoping the rare Pokemon is Clefairy and I can get it to show up if I catch enough in a row. <laughs> and I'm gonna cry if Zubat hits me. <laughs> flying Pokemon seem to be the worst in terms of just flying around and one of them's gonna smack into me and cause me problems. Although the fact that Pikachu is showing up behind me also- <gasps> That's just as good. I will take an Onyx back. I don't want to use my thing just yet. We're going to use that to calm you. And then I'm going to use a Great Ball. Because I want this Onyx. Hopefully I don't freaking miss. And I whiff it. Hardcore. How am I missing that bad? And of course it's when I'm using the more... There. The motion is just super sensitive. And it's probably my wrists twisting. I have the same issue when I play like... Bowling and stuff like that. My wrist will twist and I release it. So what would have been a straight ends up curving into the gutter. I'm so happy. And it's a big onyx too. There's Clefairy again. I would consider this all a success if I can catch this Clefairy. <gasps> okay. I may be still using the Great Balls for this. I am waiting. Because I hate when that sh Again? You're really doing this to me again? I'm gonna keep doing this and no, I'm doing it like this. Okay, what is going on with this? Pokeballs. I'm gonna have to leave and get more Pokeballs. <laughs> I fucking hate you right now, Clefairy. You're not in fault for me whiffing it, but that I can hate you for. <laughs> Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. God damn it. I'm afraid it's gonna start jumping again. Oh shit, I lost my handle. It has like a strap and then a finger hook. But. My God, I'm just winging it out. Oh, and the jump. Come on. Just stay in the ball. Okay. At a certain point, 
you stop being worth it. Because <laughs> if I have to waste all my Pokeballs on you, and again! Mm. Ah. I don't want to catch you, do you, dude? Let me actually show off. So now you have the Pokebox. You can carry loads of Pokemon. I don't know if there's ever going to be a limit. Oh, 20... No, 26 to 26. So, I don't know if there's a max you can carry. But... The option to send to Professor Oak. And I have a lot of Geodudes. So... Well, 10 is the highest one. And good God, this controller is being very finicky. Ten female, ten females, I'll do the same. Send these all to Professor Oak. And I think it's based on Pokemon, the type of candies you get, or just how many you send. Yeah, so I got all tough candies. And one tough candy large. And I've sent him 14 Pokemon so far. So, that's a normally what I think most everyone's doing is just sending duplicates. Pokemon, you're sending 0 of 30. Oh, so there- it says 0 of 30, so there is some sort of max cap. Now I'm kind of curious. Um, since I am low on Pokeballs... There it is. Escape rope. Use this. Get out of this and show some other kind of area. It is this nice, brightly lit area. Amy popping off my head, getting healed. Yeah, there's no, like, PC here to say, hey, I want to store the extra Pokemon. Can you expand that box? Or you just only hold on to the Pokemon that you want to keep? Because that seems a little... I can probably run back all the way to Professor Oak in a few minutes. Oh, wait, I forgot I didn't battle her. Well, this is probably good, because after that last rocket battle, there was some issue, so getting a little bit more training can't hurt. I love the Nidorans. They're so cute, in my opinion. I love them so much. And this is also why I put Paris up front, because of that. And that's also why I didn't have any problem before that Team Rocket battle of it's literally a one-shot. And it would have been a one-shot when I first ran through here. And, but I got two Great Balls out of it, so worth it. I'm not sure if I battled him or not. Also, these guys with the dots above their head are tougher battles. They don't force you to battle them, you just go talk to them and say you want to battle them so they're just more of a challenge for if you choose to want it so this is back to pewter city and luckily now i can also buy some stuff because i am low if i buy 10 do i get a mirror ball good <laughs> Because that's all I wanted. You buy in 10, you get an extra Pokeball. Um, does it tell me how many? Oh, four and back. So let's buy six. Since Pokeballs seem to be the bigger commodity. Because that's how you not only 
get more Pokemon, but it's also how you basically kind of train. Mean and level. Which, good lord, is expensive hobby. Uh, I'm here to sell. Because I have... Yeah, these are boost items, but I have pearl. Which is basically meant to be sold. And I also have a big pearl. And now I'm walking out with more money than I came in with. Or almost the exact same amount. But this is a cute, fine game. And while I can understand some people not caring for it because it doesn't have that challenge aspect for it, I also think this is plenty of fun on its own, and even without that aspect. And I think it also allows for that balance of have your easy, easier time with it, instead of a more relaxing experience. And also go over here and have your more challenging experience. That way, you're not having to lessen. And I'm hoping that's what they do. I'm hoping that's what they do when they get to Gen 8. Is they make that a little bit more of a challenging, less hand-holdy, mature experience. Where this can be the more childlike fun experience. Granted, maybe not gonna happen. Because Nintendo is more marketed towards younger audiences, but I'm hoping they also realize that they do have a long-standing older following that has been continually playing their games that they can also work to cater to a little bit in these games as well. So where this is definitely catering towards the younger audiences, I'm hoping Gen 8 helps cater towards the older audiences a little bit more. But, who knows, that may may or may not happen. I'm just throwing out my hopes and dreams. And because while I do enjoy this, I would like a more mature and interesting experience in the next generation that they have. And I definitely can't wait to play it on the Switch. So, thanks everyone for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.